back to the back gate, out the back gate, and then you're on to the course and you're by yourselves. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I ran the Gordonia Round Marathon back in 2014 and 2015, early 2015, um, and it's just such a nice course. Um, I fell in love with it and decided that um, some other people should probably share it. So I came up with the crazy idea of organising a race, um, thinking that it would never come to fruition, and it has. So I'm really pleased to see that 100 runners have set off today around the Bordeno Valley, um, seeing you know, the sights, but it is a bit wet, so I feel a bit sorry for them in some ways, but uh, it's a lovely course and hopefully they'll enjoy it. With the trail marathon, you've got to make sure that you've at least done 26.2 miles. We've actually made it 27.1 miles, so they'll, they'll get to enjoy the marathon plus a little bit extra. I wouldn't call it a proper ultra, but it's, uh, it's definitely more than a marathon. So when I first ran the course, I realised that it actually goes, the course itself runs straight past a farm called Charlton Farm, which is the site of um, Children's Hospice Southwest, or one of the hospices that they have. And it just seemed a really nice uh, sort of link between the race and a, a, chari a local charity. The goal is uh, all the money raised from uh, today's event is going to Children's Hospice Southwest, and we reckon with all, probably with cakes and everything else, it'll be um, probably £2,800. Oh, that's great. We have a couple of marathon runners today who have previously done flat marathons in two hours 40-ish. So they are, they are expecting that it's going to be around three hours 15 on this course, including the extra mile.